morning, afternoon, evening people. Oh, Welcome back to the channel. It's the first time here. I'm Tony. Oh. This is Teddy. And what is going on with my sweet corn? Do a bit of investigation, find out what this is. Give you a closer look. Anyone can let me know in the comments if you do know what this is. Look. It's like a dark mould of some kind. So what have I done differently? The only thing I can say is all summer my polytunnel door has been open and about a week ago we had strong wind. I'm expecting a night of quite strong winds and rain so I came down here I closed the polytunnel door I left the door closed for about three days. I opened it back up the day before yesterday, which is when I first spotted this. So I'm going to take one off, open it up at the end of the video, have a look what the corn's like inside there, if it's affected it or not. But let's just go on Google, Dr. Google, and have a little investigation. Okay, so sweet corn diseases I've typed into Google. So first off, I think I'll go to images and see if anything looks like that. Maybe when we open the sweet corn up at the end, maybe we might identify it better. I don't really see anything that looks like that. Okay, maybe I'll type in sweet corn pests. Sweet Corn Pests UK. No, I don't think that's it. Sweet Corn Mold. Mm hmm. Okay, let's have a look at that then. Above is rainfall, continuous wet weather. The growth of corn ear mould. Okay, I don't know if I corn mould. Starting at the tip of the ear. Grey to black, or very dark green. Powdery, able to rub. Okay, so the conclusion I come to there is that it's mold. Let's type in black. I really don't know. Let's open one up and take a look. Okay, so that's not really conclusive. I'm gonna lean towards, it's getting damp in the polytunnel with the door closed, some kind of mold started to grow on there, but do let me know in the comments. One other thing I've noticed is there's an awful lot of flies in my polytunnel that certainly weren't there yesterday. I don't know if that mold has attracted them. So I'll give you a quick look in the polytunnel at these flies and then we'll take a kernel of corn off with gloves on obviously and we're going to open one up, dissect it and have a look. So there's a couple of wasps but understand, look at all these flies. Look. You can hear them buzzing about. You can see them, hear them and see them. Look. 
Okay, so here's my onions that I've been curing in here, and there's no mould on them. I'm taking those home today, so I don't want to risk any mould spreading to those onions because they're my onion supply for over winter. So, and some are worse than others. But that one's got hardly any on. That's bad. That's bad. That one there is terrible. And that one there, I would say, is the worst. So we'll pull that one off and have a look at it. This particular variety of sweet corn is a variety called Mini Pop. Now we've got these off, let's take a closer look. I'm wearing gloves because. Look. Is it potentially some kind of pest? Let's put them down on the ground and have open them up and have a look. Okay. Okay, so it is a pest. It is. It's little tiny green fly. Look. I can see some moving about there. So we should go back on Dr. Google in a minute and look up these green fly. In the meantime, let's open up the corn and see. Okay, so you can see the corn's not at its maturity. Look, not much corn on there at all. That was the bigger one of the two. Let's open the smaller one up. So is that this corn ruined? The other plants that are in there that still got corn on. Do I tear them down? Put them on the compost or do I leave them? Let me know in the comments. Again, now with corn, this is usually a sign of bad pollination. However, this mini pot sweet corn is not meant to require pollination. But I did pollinate it. There was a lot of pollen, and I made sure a lot of pollen got on these. Okay, so. Okay, I reckon that is what we're looking at, don't you? Little black flies on some sweet corn. Do flip flies, and what could I do to get rid of them? They would not be flip flies. Black fly, black aphids. So there we go. I think we have established what we've got. Okay, so I know that was a short video. Um, I just thought I'd share with you to see if anybody knows what it is or what's caused it. It's literally come in the last kind of three or four days out of nowhere. About five days ago, they're sweet corn perfect. And they've come just like that. As well, the polish on the door was closed. So let me know in the comments. If you want to see more gardening and beekeeping videos, hit subscribe. If you found that useful, it's a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.